An old way to get to the Salt Lake City International Airport is new again, Emily. The Utah Transit Authority showed off its new track station today at the airport. That's where we find Fox 13's John Franke, who is live with the benefits this will provide travelers. John? Well, hey guys, this station is a 20 month long project. It cost about $22 million for locals. It means not having to waste time trying to find a parking spot. We saw how tough that was during fall break just a couple weeks ago. But bigger picture here for out of towners, it makes Utah and Salt Lake City much more desirable. It's a site that hasn't been seen at the Salt Lake Airport since the new facility opened last year. Arriving travelers boarding a Trax train to get to their final destination in the Salt Lake Valley. Who here doesn't think that this is not now the greatest airport in all of the United States of America? Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall was among the community leaders on hand to officially open the airport's new Green Line track station. And how we move people matters. This is how people will move. From the Salt Lake Airport, the Green Line heads east toward downtown Salt Lake, then turns south to Central Point before heading to West Valley City. Along the way, various transfer points for other tracks lines and the front runner. This is a, a big city 21st century airport, and big city 21st century airports need a rail connection to the center of the city, and we now have that. That connection is a big deal when it comes to attracting conventions and tourists to Utah. Visit Salt Lake says those visitors spend more than $10 billion here every year. The scale and scope of what we're able to bring in means a lot to our local economy. On its first official day of operation, the station is getting five-star reviews from tourists. It's convenient and inexpensive compared to a taxi. And it's great. Those who made this station happen hope that trend continues and the new Salt Lake Airport makes a name for itself on the world stage. It'll be an easy walk into the terminal building and yeah, I think it's going to make life a lot easier for a lot of people. And UTA said to pay attention because in the next couple weeks they plan to announce a program that would allow those with boarding passes to ride here for free. Also, they'll extend the green line hours on Sundays to, to again provide more convenience for all these air travelers. Reporting live at Salt Lake International tonight, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.